All right, what's up guys? Uh, today we're gonna look at um, some losses in RTA. <clears throat> and specifically, we're gonna look at how to analyze losses because you're gonna lose you know, roughly 50% of the time. Um, and so being able to learn from those things and hopefully not make the same mistakes again is really important. So we're just gonna look through some of my most recent losses and see how we do. So here's one here versus Shogo. Let's go ahead and watch the replay. So this guy's higher ranked than me by about 100, but not so high that it's probably a rune issue. It's probably a pay, play or pick issue on my part. So I wish I could stop it here. I'll stop it after the picks and we'll take a look when we get into the match. Okay, so first off, he picked Jean, and so I tried to pick Vero to counter, um, which is something I'm trying this season. I don't know how well it's going to work, um, but that was the thought there. Um, let's go ahead and get it going here. So I try to reset on the Hathorn miss. That could be part of the problem right away because this heavily changes the match. I mean, me missing with 100% accuracy um, on that Hathor basically cost me, what, eight turns, something like that. So that Hathor either had some resist or got lucky or used that resist lead. I brought the Josephine in general to deal with Hathor, um, but it's not a perfect counter because it's going to be um, the focal point, which you can see here, they're nuking me down. Um, one thing I'm seeing as an issue with this loss on my side is I don't have a defense break. And so if I don't have a defense break, then I'm relying on basically out sustaining them or just lasting longer. Um, in which case, you know, I should be the one controlling and I'm not, they're the one controlling me with Hathor and Jean. If you have a defense break and you pop out of CC, you have a chance to, you know, get that defense break, get the kill real quick. And then they put you back under CC. Um, so that's something I took out of this match. The other thing here that I think is costing me heavily is they don't have a defense break either. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, that's something because um, I banned them along, which was their defense break. But they have two tanky, self-sufficient DPS, and I don't really have any DPS. I just didn't bring any DPS. Nothing here functions as DPS. So if you don't have DPS, you're relying on, you know, outlasting, getting to the end game, that sort of thing. And that's just not going to happen here. I mean, that Camilla is not a great pick in RTA, but it's doing his job here really, really well. Um, he ended up with two great control monsters and two nice DPS. He couldn't couldn't find, figure a way to fit in another defense break, but it doesn't matter. The cam is hitting hard and the uh, Chow is hitting hard. I've gotten a little bit of CC in, but, you know, I'm just, it's a little too late. Too little too late, you know? Um, I don't really feel like the Vero was much of a factor here. I probably should not have brought him. So... In conclusion, for that match, let's take a look at the picks again. Um, I, you know, you always want to have a counter to Molong. If you have a Molong, you want you want to have two openers. You want to have my Molong opener, and you want to have your counter to Molong opener. So a lot of times, I see the counter to Molong opener be Gany Hathor. I don't have a Hathor, so I go Gany Oki. Same sort of thing. You threaten heavy control to a Molong. Um, plus, it's double resetter, which is another nice option. So I felt pretty good there. Um, then he went double control with Jean Hathor, and I went toolsy support to kind of the triad is just a good pick in any circumstance because you need sustain or at least i do um but maybe the paladin wasn't a great pick there because then he picked two things that it doesn't really affect um and then i think my vero last pick was probably not good enough um so in summary that match um i got a little bit of rng to start but i think i would have lost anyway because i didn't bring enough dps he did he brought better control than me so that's that's the loss there all right, let's look at another one. Looks like we have another loss right before that to this cat guy. So let's look. Let's go through the picks again before we start the gameplay. Um, he opened Molong. I opened with my Molong counter. Uh, Gany Oki. I feel pretty confident in that. You don't have a lot to go on off of one pick, but you know you want you want to get two strong picks in and breaking up the opponent able being able to get Molong, uh, Gany Hathor is good. So if you have either part of Gany Hathor, getting it in after their Molong pick is probably a good idea. All right, so then he went Wusa Perna. And so my go-to Wusa counter is Elsharian. So I brought Elsharian. Um, and then I brought Triana because I, I just bring Triana a lot. And there's nothing I see in Wusa Perna that doesn't say Triana is not viable here. So that's that's my sustain. The big issue I have in my anti-Molong team is finding enough sustain. Um, so Triana and Perna are generally the ones I want in there. But the Perna was already selected. So I went with Triana. So I'm kind of already on my third Second choice uh, healer, but that's okay. You know, you don't always get your first choice. Um, okay, so then he followed up with Vanessa and Betta, which is a really great pick. It gives him 
uh, two defense breaks. He gives him a great speed lead. He gives him a little survival for whatever I ban out. Um, and so then I went with uh, Ethna. I don't use Ethna a lot, but she brings a defense break, so that gives me two. She brings a single target strip, which is good for his buffers or multi-buffers. So have a, having a multi-stripper, even if it's single target, is pretty good. So I felt pretty good about the picks, but let's watch the match. Hope I picked the right one here. All right, we've seen the picks. I banned out Perna, because, um, yeah, Perna. I felt like that was his DPS and his some of his sustain. He buffs up. I get Miles Shari, and I feel pretty good about it. He's going right in on Ethna. I get the cooldown on Molong, which I'm pretty happy about. I get the three-turn immunity, so I'm feeling pretty good here. This is all kind of within the realm of how I want matches to begin. I think this is the big problem here. Yeah, the Vanessa is heavy dps and gets a proc so i get double proc on molong double proc on vanessa but the vanessa is also dps so right now i've identified as dps i thought it was maybe a toolsy vanessa but that was a mistake um and in terms of sustain the triana just isn't quite enough against that elemental disadvantage from the vanessa um so you can see they're working on my ethna oh he i was lucky there he didn't kill it with the triple hit that was a little bit lucky. I just don't quite have enough sustain here, I think is the problem. There's the, they popped him. I don't have my heal, and then she goes down. So didn't quite have enough sustain to keep her up. Um, maybe a better pick instead of Triana would have been like a Praha. Um, and then I might not have had to stick with an Ethna. Um, the Praha would have given me an AoE buff remover, a nice chunky heal. Um, so yeah, I think maybe the pick selection issue on my part might have been the triana and might have been the ethna in general um had i known that that he brought two fire fire dps and i kind of knew that so that's on me right let's take a look at those picks one more time against cat guy so i didn't know about the vanessa but i knew about the perna so not giving myself flexibility to leave the perna up was probably a bit of an issue um and then if you're ever attacking an ethna <clears throat> excuse me I'm a little sick sorry guys if you're ever attacking an Ethna, know that they have something other than HP on slot 4 in general. So they're a really good burn target. That guy completely selected the right target. Um, and I think the RNG went pretty well in my favor to start. Um, I mean, you can't re you can't rely on them not ever getting a proc and winning. Like, that just happens. I got the nice cooldown um, on the Molong. Otherwise, things could have been a lot worse. So that was just me getting out-sustained and out-nuked, honestly. All right, so that was Cat Guy. Let's see here. Was this a loss? That was a win. This was a win. That's a win. That's a win. That's a little loss. Okay, just a couple of points. So let's take a look at this one. So I get my Molong open. Yay, Molong. Um, he goes Gandy Perna, which is unfortunate because those would be the next two monsters I'd like to pick. Um, this guy being sort of pretty highly ranked compared to me, I felt the need to go speed, and so I went to Sierra to try to get a speed lead. Um... And the Oki is one of my fast uh, resetters. He goes Gianna Diana, which is, you know, that's awful. Um, and so I have this issue where if someone picks Diana, I want to pick Helena um, just to be like, I have a pony too. And it's it's not a maybe always a smart play. But at that point, there was no water monster, so I felt pretty good about it. And then I picked Jean because I wanted to get Jean in there. Um, I didn't have any sustain, and so she's going to be sustained, and my pony's shields are going to be sustained. And he last picks Wusa, which is really annoying <laughs> the last pick wusa um because that just that just provides so many great things for his comp so let's take a look we saw the picks i banned wusa he banned molong so i still got a defense break if i remember correctly this one was really obnoxious so they get the bomb on ciara i'm okay with that because i can cleanse it which i do um i get the double taunt which is pretty good um you know i didn't have any other options there because he's got immunity and stuff but we're starting to work on it all right, here goes Helena. She gets one full cycle. I get full reset. That was, an, that was annoying, but, you know, it happens. Does she get another turn? She does. Okay, so now she's going through her cycle again, which is bad. Real bad. Two times through the cycle is awful. Is she going to go three? I can't remember. Oh, she does. She goes three times. So what could I have done to prevent that? There's nothing, right? There's nothing I could have done. So in terms of what I can learn from that, you know, there's nothing to be learned there. It's just I got the short end of 22% times 2 stick, and that's what makes her so obnoxious like and great. 
if she does that, it's like it's like a Molong if he did 100% damage and didn't take damage himself. It's a full kill on most most units. It's like if, you know, back in Season 1 or whatever when Theo could proc twice. It, every, anything's dead, right? So that's what Diana brings to the table. Um, a good Helena can bring the same thing, kind of, in an AoE fashion. Um, not quite as viable, but... It doesn't. It's not quite as uh, reliable as a nuker because she also removes buffs um, while she nukes, and that really made the whole match fall apart. I mean, I have no doubt that this guy's uh, has good runes and all that, but getting Diana into the ground like that. I mean, my only option would have been to banner, and then in which case I would have dealt with Wusa the whole time. So I don't know. I feel pretty good about that um, ban. It's just RNG, you know, unfortunate luck that happens. If you're gonna lose, you want to lose to RNG because then it's not your fault, right? If you're going to lose to RNG, there's literally nothing you can do about it, right? Um, so just take, you know, take the loss to RNG and move on. You're going to get some. They're going to get some. That's the game, right? So what I'm trying to avoid is not RNG losses. I'm trying to avoid me doing dumb stuff losses. Here you go. This one. There's one more here. Let's watch this one. So let's look at the picks and bans. Um, so I got my Molong opener. He went Hathor um, Ophelia. Ophelia, is that the right? No, I can't remember her name. Josephine, Josephine. Um, interesting to Molong, but not, not crazy. It's preventing a, a CC. So I was like, cool, I get Gany before he gets Gany Hathor. So I took Gany and then I took Oki just cause that's a nice like little opener for me because it's got all three elements. Um, it's got control, it's got defense break, it's got, you know, all kinds of good stuff. Um, so I was feeling pretty good about that. And then he picked, I forget her name, Fire Ciara. Uh, sorry. I don't remember. And then Wusa, which is a really good pick. Um, and so I picked Perna Elsharian into it because Elsharian kind of my Wusa counter. And he picked Tessa last pick, which is great because that shuts down um, the Perna and the Elsharian. So let's take a look. Let's find out why I lost. It's not Diana this time. I can 100% guarantee that. All right, we know the picks. There's the ban. I ban out Tessa just because I feel like Tessa can shut down a Perna. And I, wanna, I want Perna to last a little bit. I want both lives out of Perna. So we, we did that. Okay, I get the reset on Hathor, which is really lucky. I mean, that's me getting some RNG magic right there. And right here, I'm feeling great. I got the reset. Got some damage going on. Um, I'm feeling like I'm going to kill this thing and then just roll through. Um, he got the double double stun. And then the third form of CC in the Provoke of the Perna. So it's, it's eliminated my ability to nuke that Hathor down right now, which is really nice for him. Um, but I still feel pretty good about it. So I don't, I don't know where this goes wrong, but I know it's going to go really, really wrong. Really, the interaction between the Fire Sierra, I don't know, and uh, my Elsharian is going to be pretty good for him because he can, he'll, I can steal stuff, but then he can punish me for it, stun me, strip them, and turn them into dots. So, I think I just, yeah, I get, I get this kill here. How do I lose this one? This is looking pretty good. All right, so Perna's on second life. So I mean, obviously his kill target is Perna. Missed the reset on Wusa, which isn't great, but it's not game breaking. Um, trying to figure out my next kill target here. Pick up the full revenge, which is cool. I mean, that's the fun of Elsharian, right? He gets his buff. I think I think the issue, just kind of watching this, is Perna has no heals, right? So Perna's on a clock. Um, he has shields, multi-shields. He has he a little heal from Wusa. Um, but I've got nothing, you know? And I, th I think I, I really took a great early start um, by shutting out his control. But then his... Uh, this is probably about the time watching this is about the time I realized it playing it. I'm realizing I have no, I have no form of healing. So yeah, he can just nuke down my monsters one by one. And if I don't do enough damage before that happens, I lose, you know? And I think that's what's going to end up happening. I kind of want to watch how it plays out because I, I feel like it could be pretty close. This feels like a close one because we're, you know, I got the first kill. He got the second kill. We're both kind of in this. But yeah, so getting two forms of two forms of healing is hard to do, but really great. I think that's what makes people like Jean so much is even if she's not crowd controlling, she's cleansing, she's making stuff invincible, she's healing every turn. Um, so maybe Jean over Okeanos here. But then, see, if I did that, then I'd get Hathor, right? Because then the Hathor would uh, would not have been deactivated. So yeah, I just got kind of rolled. I, he just out-sustained me and just kind of hung out. So 
that was a, that was an unfortunate loss. I think that was just me picking badly. I think I had a chance there, um, but I just made a mistake. So, you know, you're going to lose a lot. I've lost... Well, I, this has been my best season early on win rate so far. I'm at 65% win. My best season finish is 60%, so that's probably more in line with where it'll end up. Um, but analyzing why you lose is really, really important. Just charging into the queue, not knowing what your weaknesses are or not knowing what counterpicks for you are is, is not a good way to win. So just thought that would help going through my losses, talking through what I did wrong. Um, so hopefully that was useful to y'all, and I will catch you next time. Take care, everybody.